Morning, a family is suing TriMed after their loved one was killed on a MAX train. We've been following this case for some time now, but the family just filed a new lawsuit claiming the death could have been prevented. Fox News' Mackenzie Richmond joins us live. Mackenzie, you just read through the lawsuit. What can you tell us? Yeah, when I was flipping through this five-page lawsuit that Michael Brady's family just filed in accordance with his death, the family claims that TriMet officials actually knew about the ongoing violence happening on their trains. And they knew about it long before Brady died, but didn't do enough to prevent it. Now, back in March, 51-year-old Michael Brady was stabbed to death on a TriMet Max train while riding home from work to have dinner with his wife and children. Surveillance video showed the suspect, Shondell Larkin, stabbing Brady with a knife. According to police, the Larkin and Brady didn't know each other. It was an unprovoked and random attack. Now, we did speak with Brady's family about the attack back when it happened. How do you explain that to a child? How do you explain that your dad's not coming home? And then he doesn't understand that. So it's been awful. Larkin was arrested on the scene and is now facing two charges, murder in the second degree and unlawful use of a weapon. But now Brady's family is suing TriMet, saying his death could have been prevented if there were adequate security measures and personnel in place. The suit states TriMet fails to warn passengers about the risk of violence on its trains and that, quote, TriMet failed to provide adequate security or mobile crisis teams to deter violence and safeguard its passengers from the foreseeable danger posed by violent individuals that TriMet knew and should have known were frequently on its MAX trains. The suit also claims TriMet encourages locals to ride the trains, even though, quote, a Portland commissioner recently announced that he, too, will no longer ride TriMet's MAX trains, citing unaddressed safety concerns. Now, that is in reference to Commissioner Renee Gonzalez, who said he would temporarily stop riding public transportation in Portland after he claims he was confronted on a train in January. Now, Brady's family is claiming if there was proper warning to passengers like Brady, he would have taken a different way home and would have made it back home to dinner with his family. Now, we have reached out to TriMet for a statement on this lawsuit, but have yet to hear back. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated as this case develops. Reporting live, Mackenzie Richmond for Good Day Oregon.